the lovely thing about NLP is if you imagine, imagine you're looking at whatever, if you're watching this, listening to this on a computer right now, imagine you're looking at a document that you created uh, sometime in the past that needs to be updated. I mean, like seriously updated, right? It was perfect for its time. It fulfilled the purpose for which you created it and it, it got its job done. It got you to this point where now you have a chance to revise it. Only you're looking at it on the screen, but let's imagine a couple of things. You can see it on the screen. You can read it. You can notice all the places it's, it's really worth, you know, it's worth wincing about like, oh, wow, ah, yeah. And you don't have any keyboard on that computer. And you don't have a mouse. And you don't have any other pointing device. All you can do is read it and maybe get with some other people who are highly trained and talk about why it's like that. And think about what else, you know, if you could change it, how you'd like to change it, and then talk about the changing some more. And eventually, over time, just because it's a pretty magical computer, because it's a human one, and we're not really computers, but go with me, okay? Stuff would start to change on the screen a bit. Contrast that with looking at it, noticing where it's not what you want, noticing what you would like it to be like. And there are some formats for inquiring about both of those things. Gee, what you got going on now? Okay, thank you. What would you like to be experiencing? Okay, thank you. But you have a keyboard and a mouse and a backspace key. And the parts that are do, are causing the experience you don't want can be backspaced out, so to speak, and revised, and then sort of put back in the operating system and find out what comes out of that. And when it's properly done, what comes out of that is the document you want, so to speak, the life experience you want. 